Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some exciting news for all the Linux users out there, especially if you're a fan of MX Linux. MX Linux 23.4 has officially dropped and it's packed with new features and updates that you don't want to miss. So let's dive in and see what this new release has to offer. First things first, MX Linux. 23.4 is the latest release in the MX Linux 23 libretto series. This is a lightweight, Debian-based Linux distribution that's perfect for everyday use. Whether you're running it on older hardware or you just prefer a snappy, efficient system, MX Linux has you covered. This new version is based on Debian 12.7 Bookworm, which means most of the software packages have been updated to align with the latest Debian repositories. This also includes the long-term supported Ak Linux 6.1 LTS kernel, a solid and reliable choice for most users. But wait, there's more. The AHS, Advanced Hardware Support Edition, has gotten a serious upgrade too. It now comes with the newer Linux 6.1010 kernel, Perfect for users who may have run into hardware issues with the standard kernel. If you're looking for more responsiveness, MX Linux also offers the Licorix flavor of the Linux 6.10 kernel. Now let's talk about some of the other cool features in MX Linux 23.4. If you're a fan of XFCE, good news. The core XFCE packages have been updated to XFCE 4.18, ensuring a smoother and more stable experience. The Fluxbox edition now comes with the Job Scheduler front-end for Cron pre-installed, making system automation even easier. Plus, the MX USB unmounter now has a nice UI improvement. A tray icon appears when you insert a removable device, giving you quick access to manage USBs. Encryption fans will be happy to hear that LUKS2 encryption is now the default for the MX Live USB Maker tool. So if you're creating a live USB, your data can be even more secure. Another big update is with the MX Package Installer tool. In this release, you'll be able to see all installed packages in three new tabs, Enabled, Test, and Backports. There's also an optional filter to show only verified Flatpak apps from Flathub, a big plus if you're a Flatpak user. Speaking of Flatpak, this is a great way to install and run sandboxed applications on Linux, and MX Linux is making it easier to manage them. For KDE users, MX Linux 23.4 has updated its Pipewire setup MX tool to make the Pipewire and Wireplumber startup more reliable when using the SysVinit in its system. Additionally, the MX Tweak tool now includes a new KDE option to disable or enable Plasma Discover's Auto Start System Tray Updater Notifier. This gives you more control over how updates are handled in the KDE environment. If you're running MX Linux on a Raspberry Pi, good news! The Raspberry Pi edition has been updated with the latest packages from both the MX Linux and Raspberry Pi OS repositories, ensuring you get the most out of your Pi. If you're already running MX Linux 23, don't worry. You don't need to download the new ISO to stay up to date. Just open up your terminal and run the commands. Or if you prefer a graphical tool, you can use the Synaptic Package Manager to update all your packages with just a few clicks. So there you have it. MX Linux 23.4 brings plenty of exciting updates, from a newer kernel to better hardware support. UI improvements, and enhanced package management tools. Whether you're a power user or new to Linux, there's something in this release for everyone. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Linux news and tutorials. Drop a comment below and let me know if you'll be upgrading to MX Linux 23.4 or if you're thinking about giving it a try for the first time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.